Good morning. Welcome to the CBS AM debrief. Uh, it's Thursday, the 21st of October. I'm David Coombe. It's uh, just uh, past 8 a.m. And uh, looking uh, here at the local index, uh, which we saw open significantly down yesterday, but by about uh, 11 a.m., it started to, uh, to grind its way higher. Now, this was uh, um, on the back of the uh, China rates hike decision, which uh, clearly uh, had everyone uh, had everyone pretty concerned there for a while. However, um, that's all turned around overnight. Um, the earnings reports out of Wall Street uh, changed the mood in the, in the market, and uh, it was uh, an old sector that uh, hasn't been doing very well for a very long time, and that's airlines. Um, so it was actually Delta, U.S. Airways, and uh, uh, the other one was uh, Boeing, and um, yeah, that lifted lifted things up. In fact, we'll kind of take a look at what exactly happened. Uh, 129 points to the upside, so we're now uh, reasonably clear of that 11,000 level, up uh, 1.18%, 1.05 uh, for the S&P 500, and 0.84 for the Nasdaq. Uh, in Europe, uh, similar sort of picture, but um, somewhat more subdued. Uh, FTSE up. 0.44, CAC up 0.55, and DAX up 0.52. And then uh, those again are the uh, numbers from yesterday. So we ended up closing down 30, Hang Seng down 207, and Nikkei down 157. And the futures are suggesting a 24 point rise today. Uh, 256 down on Hang Seng, and Nikkei up 40. Take a look at what's happening with the commodities. Crude back up, and if we take a look here at the US dollar index, we can see that slow loading up here this morning. Um, we can see that the we did see that, that rally up. That's now come back down. So expect to see all of the crosses move up. Okay, so moving on to our commodities. Uh, coffee 196 and three quarters, which was up uh, nearly 3%, a little bit over 3%. And the corn's had a really strong move here. Up 5.04, and uh, cotton up 3.63. Oats at 3.55, that was up uh, nearly 3%. Rough rice up over 4, uh, over 3%. Uh, soy up 2.71. Sugar up 1.69, uh, and uh, wheat 1.71. So as we've seen, the US dollar uh, index come off of seeing all these commodities move up, uh, except apparently for wool, which is uh, at $9.65 per kilo. Uh, copper at 380.30, which is up uh, 4.55 cents. And gold, as expected, putting in a fairly strong rally here at 13.45 and 90 cents. And silver at 23.93, up 0.15. Currency crosses, the euro is buying 1.3957 US dollars, pound buying 1.5848, and the US dollar buying 81.1080 yen. Aussie is buying 0.9869 US dollars, and the US dollar is buying 1.0214 uh, Canadian and 0.9624 Swiss francs. Okay, let's have a look at the economic data that's due out today. Um, we've got a great big slew of data out of China. Um, certainly like to seemingly release it all at once. Uh, that's at one o'clock, so we've got CPI year on year. Um, fixed assets, uh, uh, GDP year to date, industrial production year on year for September. Producer price index, 
real GDP and retail sales. So if we get a surprising number there, that could uh, upset things somewhat. Um, or we could, of course, be a surprise to the upside. So uh, that'd be an interesting one, one to watch. One o'clock today, Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> also, a little bit of data out of New Zealand. Credit card spending. Uh, Japan All Industry Activity Index, and Swiss Trade Balance. And then a little bit out of the Eurozone Manufacturing PMI, and retail sales out of the UK. Forecast is for point. 0 0.2, previous was 0.4 of a percent negative. So looking for some slightly better numbers there. Uh, and then retail sales year on year, that's expected to stay the same at 1.9. Uh, auto fuel in the other retail figures and survey coming out of Switzerland and then finishing off with uh, leading indicators month by month. Uh, September out of Canada. And that about wraps up the economic data we can expect out today. Let's um, let's take a look at the Balkan Trader. <clears throat> Dollars given a gain a bit of ground here and in fact that looks almost exactly the uh, the inverse of that US dollar index chart that we looked at a moment ago. Um, CSL is one that we've uh, we've looked at previously, and the expectation was that it would get hurt by the strong Aussie dollar, since most of its earnings are made offshore. And, uh, and certainly recently we've seen that come down here to around 31.50. But to my eye, that looks like quite a good level of support to be buying uh, the stock and. We'd be happy to sell it out at thirty-three fifty or thirty-four dollars uh, if it gets back up there. But clearly, uh, we've got to be mindful of what's happening with the, with the dollar there, and we may, in fact, even see back of that rally up in the Aussie. That we'll see it under some pressure today. Um, but uh, I guess we'll uh, have to wait and see if that proves to be the case or not. Um, another one that I looked at. I think last week and suggested might have been a good one to have a look at was Mincor. Well, it uh, looks like I was wrong about that. Um, we've decisively broken down through this inner upward trend line. And um, yeah, we're, we're coming down here to perhaps uh, come down to this 180 level or, or even lower, possibly. So, um, yep, can't get, them, uh, can't get them right all the time. So, um, um, Let's have a look here at crude coming off. Uh, sorry, rallying back up. So we're now back up at the <clears throat> these recent highs, and it would seem that there is a potential opportunity here to be considering shorting uh, crude because of this, this consolidation of a level of uh, resistance there. Um, so perhaps that's one to um, have a look at as well. Uh, nothing else there that, uh, that stands out in particular. So we might wrap up the uh, AMD brief there. Um, thanks as always for your attention and we'll speak again soon.